her 21st birthday. According to police, this young man had a literal rescue party, ending up in both an ambulance and a police car. I'm Julie Bragg. And I'm Rob Dazier. Thanks for joining us. Ringing in your 21st birthday with a few drinks, it's, it's pretty standard, but a VCU student may have taken it too far. Police say he decided to steal an ambulance, too. CBS 6's Laura French has been working for you on where the ambulance was taken and how paramedics got it back. Well, Unit 16, it's parked right where it should be tonight, right outside of Lakeside Volunteer Rescue Squad. But the unit that's usually doing the rescuing needed some rescuing of its own just over 24 hours ago. I did not believe that this would ever happen to me. It has Andy Inch has seen a lot in his 15 years as a first responder, but in the early hours of April 12th, a first. Following a transport to the VCU Medical Center in this ambulance known as Unit 16. Lakeside rescue personnel were inside the hospital finishing their patient's report when they walked out. To their surprise, Unit 16 was missing. At that point, it was just kind of partially surprise and partially, you know, this, this can't be happening. Police say 21 year old VCU student and certified EMT Ryan Kovacic got behind the wheel of this ambulance drunk. After celebrating his 21st birthday, dispatch, to their surprise, got in touch with him on the ambulance's two-way radio. So the conversation was was pretty much a, you know, hey, we know you have it. Please bring it back or stop where you are. And the person apparently responded. CBS 6 interviewed the aspiring doctor back in 2012 when he was a finalist in a football throwing contest for a shot at a college scholarship. On Sunday, Inge says, those dreams may have ended in Henrico County, where he was pulled over and arrested not far from where the unit is now safely parked. Kind of surprised that he was actually returning it to the building, but he was en route to the building when Henrico police spotted him. Now the VCU student faces charges in Henrico County and in the city of Richmond. He was arraigned in Henrico this morning on that DUI charge and possession of stolen property. Meanwhile, on Friday, he will be arraigned in the city where he faces a felony. And also this case is being handed over to student affairs at VCU where he could he could potentially face more disciplinary action. Meanwhile, the folks here, they're just glad they have their ambulance back and they hope this sends a message to not get behind the wheel when you've been drinking. Working for you in Henrico County tonight, Laura French, CBS 6 News.